What up, Jews? It's your boy Cypher Tech here. Welcome back to Game Update. And today, we're gonna look at Cyberpunk 2077. Let's get to the video. Completely honest, kudos to CDPR for not giving up on this game. The backlash these guys had to endure over the years with the complications and the issues, lots of backlash, lots of hate. I mean, people got their money back on the PlayStation. Game was unplayable on PC. Bugs was just killing the damn thing. But they kept working on it. They kept improving the gameplay, improving the experience, kept fixing bugs and issues, and they simply didn't give up. And with their resilience, trust me, it's beginning to pay off. As players are now coming back to the game, they recorded a number of 1 million active players playing Cyberpunk 2077, the highest it's ever been past week. People coming back to play the game, positive feedback all around the board. So CDPR is winning uh, as we speak. They are really getting um, the results uh, that they needed with all the work and the effort that they have put in uh, with Cyberpunk 2077. Now, by the way, this patch update or this DLC update 1.6 uh, features the Edge Runner series. By the way, if you haven't watched the Edge Runner series on Netflix, I really urge you to go watch that series, man. It is fire. Trust me, it's fire. And I can't wait for a season two to be released because trust me, they have to be a season two. They shouldn't just start this and just, you know, stop right now. They need to keep that momentum going. So, this new update uh, really brings some really new features here with the Edge Runner update. I have gotten the Edge Runner jacket. As you can see, this jacket is fire. Fire. I'm telling you, man, I've been riding around with this jacket feeling like a bad, you know what I'm saying. Anyway, so this new update, uh, you get six new firearms to the game. I currently have two of them. Normally, I don't play with uh, firearms. I use swords everywhere I go. Um, Arasaka Katana is there by my side through thick and thin. I have been riding with that blade for life. So I really don't use any weapons, but six new firearms. Uh, you get three new gigs from fixers, five new melee weapons. I mean, crazy. Now you can pretty much have a wardrobe outfit uh, collection and you can save them to your wardrobe. So immediately you hit your wardrobe. Now you can change your outfits on the fly. Now you can pretty much get new updates from your Ripper dock. Uh, you can change your looks. I don't care about that though. I mean, if I want to change my looks, I can go to the mirror and do that. But now you can do that from the Ripper dock. Also, there's a new San Devastan cyberware that you can add uh, to your character now. And that's what I use currently. And the San Devastan, basically what it does is if you watch the edge, like I said, go watch that series, man, because I don't want to spoil it. But what this does is it pretty much puts you in bullet time. So you become faster than everyone else for a few seconds. And you can do that and holy shit, cross over noobs all day. I'm talking you activate San Devastan, boom, you are pretty much invisible for a few seconds. And you can just dash through and kill and slice and dice. Now, the backlash I got for this is now I'm forced to give up my RAM. Uh, so giving up my RAM, basically, I cannot really uh, just hack p multiple targets at a go, overheat the characters, uh, pretty much hack into their systems, uh, freeze their weapons and do all that stuff that I used to do. So pretty much, but I, it's not needed though, because my character is stronger than it's ever been. So I pretty much don't need all that extra, extra shit. So I just went to the Ripper dock and got this and stand and then man. It's been heads rolling uh, ever since. So one nice addition to this update is cross platform progression. Now this feature is a win-win for everybody. Um, now you can save progress across the board, across platforms, and pretty much you can transfer your progress from any platform. So you played on the PS4 and you recently bought the PS5, you want to transfer your saved progression, easy. You can do that now. You are on PS5. You bought an Xbox or you want to move to Xbox. Easy. You are on the PS5 and you want to go to PC. Easy. So this, this is a win-win. I think 
this is pretty much the one feature that brought players back playing this game. Honestly, that's how I feel. Um, but there's a limit to this. Now, if you are on PC, you cannot transfer from PC to console. That's the only drawback. And if you are in uh, regional restricted countries like the United Arab Emirates or Saudi Arabia or the Japanese SKUs um, or you are in Qatar, you know, countries that have these restrictions, you might not be able to, you know, have this feature um, available. So in addition to that, um, you know, pretty much you can just create an account uh, that is from another country or from a region that you have all these um, features uh, there for you. That's what people just do um, anyway. So getting the David Martinez jacket, pretty much uh, you have to do the Adrenal missions across the city. Um, now there are some really new secrets and, you know, things you can discover as you ride around Night City. That is really, really cool. So the gameplay is better. The NPCs are better. Uh, they fixed a lot of glitches with that. Night City looks really nice. The graphics is even just, man, like driving around town. It, it feels new um, just in Night City, moving around Night City. Um, there are some new quests uh, from the Zen Master. I did that quest and that quest was really nice. Uh, you should go check it out too. And also there are also um, new quests from your fixers. Uh, three new quest quests from the fixers. I haven't really done all that yet. I'm yet to complete uh, that myself. But in general, I got to say uh, CDPR should keep working on this game because the potential of this game to be even greater uh, is huge. And if there's an online multiplayer mode, Man, just imagine multiplayer mode in Night City. There's just so much going on. Um, I know loading this game online will be insane. But the fact is that, I mean, telecommunication technology is, is advancing. So I don't see why not. Loading Night City online, yeah, it'll <laughs> take a little bit of your bandwidth. But I mean, come on now. If you have a fast internet and... You have crazy bandwidth speeds. Trust me, it'll be a cakewalk. And that's really what I want for this game. I want this game to transition from a uh, single player to a multiplayer uh, RPG game. This game is going to be better than any open world RPG you can ever imagine if this game transitions uh, online. So uh, that's it what I got to say about this game. Uh, the driving haven't changed at all. Still the same um, driving. But overall, all this... Uh, you know, new gameplay features uh, is cool. Even the cat feature, I pretty much uh, did the cat mission where you get go get the cat food and try to get a cat and take pictures with the cat. Did that just for fun. Just so many things just happening in this game, man. I don't know how much programming. Like, it's just insane the amount of things happening um, in Night City. But... Pretty much, I have to say that I'm impressed with this new update. I love it. Uh, it's everything that they said and even more. And with the addition of this new uh, DLCs that you can play right now, especially this Edge Runner, man, it just takes this game and put this game on another level. And CDPR should keep up the good work. I gotta say, they keep. I really can't see anything wrong with this update so far. I I know people shit on this game a lot. And it's crazy how you finish a game and you still incentivize to come back and play this game because of all the extra secrets and missions and all this hidden stuff here and there. And this extra, extra shit that, um, you know, just draws you to play at this game. That's it for this video, man. I hope you guys enjoyed this clip. Enjoy this video. Really short. I'm not going to take your time. Just 10 minutes. And um, yeah, I will see you guys in the next game review video. Until then. I'm your boy Cypher Tech. Here I do tech reviews, game reviews, and unboxings, first impressions on tech. You know, I'm still waiting to get the iPhone 14 uh, Pro Max, and I will do that video as well. I don't know what the fuck is going on with Apple, but hey, I gotta wait. I gotta wait. Um, but um, yeah, that's pretty much what we do here. Uh, by the way, if you are a new subscriber, I want to give a big shout out to you guys. Thank you so much for joining the channel. Here we are. The army, the legions, we choose down here. We choose. That's right. That's right. That's right. We choose. And um, 
we pretty much uh love you uh and i want to say thank you so much for subscribing to my og subs uh i want to say show them the ropes you know how we do around here uh we interact and we are one family so thank you so much the numbers have been going up tremendously tremendously i am so grateful uh to all of you to each and every one of you i am grateful uh so guys with that said if you want to join if you are watching this video for the first time you can go ahead and hit the subscribe button hit me up in the comment section too i respond to everybody's comment let me know what you think about this game and let's talk let's discuss as we always do so with that said thank you so much and i will see you guys in the next video until then stay safe stay frosty night city is crazy it's full of vices cypher take out